I've been seeing everyone make these viral tortilla wraps, so I wanted to hop on the trend, but try it with some Chick-fil-A. First, you're gonna make a cut in your large tortilla. Chop up a spicy chicken filet and add your favorite sauces on top. Add your veggies in one section, your fries to another, and some shredded cheese in the last. Fold it all up, brush it in some mayo, and toast it. Once it's golden brown on both sides, add some more Chick-fil-A sauce, and it's ready to enjoy. Definitely worth the hype. Welcome to the gauntlet. You laugh, you lose. And you go to hell. Let's begin. See the crystal raindrops fall. The beauty of it all is when the sun comes shining through. To make those rainbows in my mind When I think of you sometime I wanna spend some time with you Just the two of us We can make it if we try Just the two of us Grab a bowl, add in one cup of flour One teaspoon of sugar One teaspoon of salt Can you chew with your mouth closed please? Set that aside, grab a grater And a block of cheddar Yay! Use the side that looks like this. This is gonna look like a lot, but if you were to squish it all together, it would be able to fit in this one cup. Add in your one cup of cheddar and mix it. Now add in four tablespoons of butter and two tablespoons of water. Now mix that all together. It's easier if you use your clean hands. If it's still crumbly like this, add more water. When you're done, it should look like a ball of Play-Doh. Preheat your oven to 375. Line a pan with parchment paper. Roll out your dough. You're gonna want it pretty thin. Frequently push in your edges so you can avoid the cracks. Carefully transfer that over to your pan. With whatever you have, I was lucky to have this, cut out little squares. And then, I think you already know where this is going, poke little holes into them. Bake for about 10 to 15 minutes. Let them cool for about five to 10 minutes, and now you know how to make homemade Cheez-Its or cheese crackers. Let's try them. Okay, here we go. Besides the thickness, they literally taste like a cheese. Ah! Hey y'all, so today I'm gonna be doing a get ready with me, but not only that, I'm gonna be eating Eddie's while getting ready. And I'm also gonna be taking some um, some honey, if you know what I'm saying, um, while getting ready. So we're gonna see how I am by the end of this video, cuz. <coughs> okay, so I just finished taking my first hit. Um, I'm gonna eat a candy. Edible. And then get ready. So while I'm eating this gusher, um, I am going to do my eyeliner. And it's going to take me a minute to open this. So hold on. Okay, I put on my eyeliner and I already and finished I already the finished edible. The so I'm going to take another hit. <laughs> it was two, I think. Here's number two. Um, now I put on my lashes. So I'm going to do that. Um, so yeah, you're gonna have to come back for part two.
Let's make my husband his favorite snack. Last night, my husband stabbed me in the arm. He said it was an accident, but before it happened, he was saying, I'm gonna get you, I'm gonna get you. So it didn't feel like an accident. But whatever, he said, she said, right? Anyway, to apologize, I thought I'd make him some of his favorite snack. We call it wifey popcorn. Wifey popcorn is simple. You just pop your favorite popcorn and put some of your favorite seasonings on it. I mean, your husband's favorite seasonings on it. Today, I made him a little extra because his receptionist, Lola, is coming over and they're going to hang out in our attic. At first, I was a little worried because he just installed a lock on the attic door and I found a receipt from CVS for lube and plan B. But then I remembered marriage is not about being happy. It's about waking up each morning and trying not to cry. So happy 10 year anniversary, sweetie. I love you. This is how everybody should be making their potatoes. Let's clean our potatoes. After cleaning my potatoes, I cut up an eight inch thick with a mandolin. You can use a knife if you like. Melt half a cup of butter. Add it to our bowl. Next, we're going to chop up a quarter cup of oregano, two tablespoons of thyme, and grate in two cloves of garlic. And then next, we're going to add a half a cup of Parmesan and cheddar cheese and sprinkle in some salt, pepper, mix till they're all coated. We're going to stack these into a muffin tin, put them in the oven at 400 degrees, cover with foil. And after 30 minutes is up, take off the foil, put them back in till they're nice and brown. Take them out and top them with some Parmesan. Look at that. Why do you niggas still tapping in they savings? Why do you niggas still writing telling statements? Vampire could have called me and Stacy. Dash on a bitch, I don't care if niggas have. I don't know why growing up I thought these were Asian. Red liquid inside. Wait, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. For years I've been trying to figure out the name of this candy. I've been calling it the strawberry candy from grandma's house for, I don't know, decades. I finally get a video where someone has the candy in the bag and the front of the bag just says hard candy. The name of the candy is hard candy? No. No. If I had to kill my homie, I'd be devastated. But I'll do it. Up the two. Bang with him. Fuck the Glock. But I'll use it. Let's make chocolate pasta. Mix one and three quarter cup all-purpose flour, a quarter cup of good cocoa powder, and a pinch of salt in a bowl. Once combined, pour onto a clean surface. Then using a ladle or small bowl, you can form the well in the center. Add two eggs and about a tablespoon of olive oil to the center of the well. Whisk the eggs and then slowly start incorporating the flour cocoa powder mixture. Add water about a tablespoon at a time until the mixture comes together. Want the dough to be too wet though, so be careful. Once the dough comes together, knead on a well-floured surface for about five minutes or until it springs back when you poke it. Then wrap in plastic to grab pop in the fridge for about 30 minutes to let it rest when you take the dough back out you can divide it into halves or thirds press down to about a quarter of an inch and pass through a pasta machine just keep doing that until you're at the right setting and fold your dough into thirds and cut to the thickness that you like i think i know what we should make with this All right, I'm about to ask my mama for the stimulus check. Let's see what she say. Hey, mom. Yeah. What's up? Um, did you get your stimulus check? What? What? What's going on? What? Nothing. I was just talking to my homeboy Jake, my white homeboy, and she he told me that his mama gave him heads. You got mom? Yes, they do. Trump sent out the stimulus to kids, too. Oh, 